Hi, I'm Juliana Zooks and I'm here with Denise Levenick. She's the author of How to Archive Your Family Keepsakes and she's got a new book coming out as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I'd love to, Juliana. Uh, my new book is How to Archive Family Photos. I didn't have room in this book to tell everything I wanted to about taking care of your family photos, so that's what I'm doing in the new book. It's a big subject. What are some of the things that people will, what's one thing that someone can do today to start the process of preserving their family heirlooms and keepsakes? Well, probably if you have photos like this, little snapshots that are stacked up in boxes, like plastic boxes in your basement or maybe mm -hmm. your attic, the best things you could do would be to get them out and write captions on the back using a soft lead pencil. Okay. Because, um, you know, it could be... Yeah, how many of us have run across those unlabeled photos right. in our we family history? we all hate it. We all hate it. Yes. Even in the margin, but um, a soft lead pencil or even a uh, archival scrapbook pen is a good thing to That's use. That's a really good tip. Yeah. And you're going to be starting uh, to provide a lot more interesting tips for us through a blog post series. I am. I'm looking forward to writing about preserving keepsakes and taking care of photos on the Ancestry blog. And one of the first, uh, one of the next um, topics I'm going to do is talk about um, how to prepare for a disaster and what happens if your things actually, actually get wet or damaged. Yeah. I get phone calls from people who, um, you know, a pipe has burst in a wall and everything got flooded. So they want to know, oh gosh, what do I do with my photos? They're all yeah. wet. So we're going to talk about some and how do you dry day. them out and yes, exactly. catch the damage before it gets worse. Right. That's a beautiful scarf you have on, Denise. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, thank you. Um, this is one of the projects in my new book, How to Archive Family Photos. And I made this actually. I put this little type together, got roots, and sent it off to a fabric printing company. And this is one of the projects that's in the project section. Is about half the book is all kinds of projects for your photos, your family heirloom photos. And the other half of the book is how to get pictures out of your cell phone and your camera and consolidate them all. And then also how to digitize some of the pictures that you have already, your heirloom pictures that you want to make digital copies of, what kind of tech skills uh -huh. you might need to make a good copy of those. So you could conceivably take some of those pho photographs and make a scarf of your ancestors. Exactly. That exactly. is an awesome idea. I and the, love that. The project in the book is really um, a photo that's made into a pillow. That's, really, really that cute. is really neat. Okay, well, we now have new ideas for gifts for our family. <laughs> and for, you are a family historian as well, I aren't am. you? For many years? A long time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's one of your biggest hurdles that you've overcome? Well, my um, I, I come from a long line of genealogists, and my grandmother, who's actually, this is her picture in this little locket I'm wearing. That's beautiful. And. Um, my grandmother and her sister were both family historians researching their family. And my great aunt Mercy wrote a beautifully illustrated, she was an artist, beautifully illustrated family genealogy. Mm -hmm. But the problem was my mom said she was crazy and so don't believe anything. <laughs> so I have spent a long time tracking down that information to see what is actually true and what was just a story. And my gosh, she was right about all of this. <laughs> She was right and she wasn't crazy. No, she wasn't. All right, she has been redeemed. She right does. here, you've she got does. it here. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for being with us, Denise, and we look forward to your blog Thanks. series on the Ancestry blog. Thanks very much.